Welcome everybody. I'm so honored to have you here. Welcome to Jennifer and Anna and Mim and Virginia coming to us from from beautiful Connecticut. And we've got two Australians with Mim and Anna and Jennifer. I'm so glad you're here because I want to show a little clip of your t you tonight. So let us know where you're coming from, everyone. Hi, I'm Dr. Marnie Ginsberg from Reading Simplified. I have missed you. I haven't been able to do a Facebook Live like this in quite a long time. And we want to get the word out about some of the key things that we do at Reading Simplified because our mission is to streamline instruction and accelerate students' reading achievement. And I reckon that for those of you, particularly in the Northern Hemisphere, you are probably uh, excited about the end of the year, but maybe you have a few kids, maybe several kids who didn't quite make it to the benchmarks that you were hoping for. How many of you have are feeling that tonight um, or today? So we have some fast acting fixes for this. And like I said, this is what we do here at Reading Simplified. We take a challenging um, situation with a reader who may not be doing great, and we use just a handful of activities and turn that puppy around. And so even if you are at the end of the year and kind of worn out, I'd love for you to give a chance to a couple of activities that maybe if you give five minutes, you will be impressed with the possibilities of where they go. How does that sound? Jennifer says about her, I mean, you're really at the end of the year, right, Jennifer? Most are flying, but there are always a few who didn't quite catch up yet. And Heidi, she's got her hand raised. <laughs> um, I'm feeling that, yes. So who else is kind of looking, maybe have you done your end of year assessments yet? So, I would like to do a three-part series starting tonight called Fast Acting, I can't get my finger pointed right, Fast Acting Fixes to Boost Reading Achievement. And what we're gonna present are our core activities. These are used by Reading Simplified teachers all over the world, including myself, I'm recently a tutor. Switch it, read it, and sort it. They're so powerful. They make up most of what we teach, whether we have a five-year-old or a 10-year-old or a 15-year-old who's not yet fluent. And so tonight, I'm gonna introduce you to Switch It if you don't know it. And if you do know it, know it, I'm going to encourage you to give it a chance. Maybe push higher if you have been using it. Jennifer's only got one day left. <laughs> so maybe this isn't all that much for you, but we're so glad that you're here. So if you try this activity switch it, I believe that you will find a lot of um, opportunities for student growth. And that's what we want for you. Uh, even if, like I said, it's five days left, 10 days left. And for those of you who are in Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, you have plenty of time to see transformation. So how many of you here have done this activity that I'm talking about switch it before? What if you have it? Um, don't worry, we've got you covered. So, first of all, I've got a lot planned for tonight. We're gonna to pack it into 30 minutes if, I'm, if all goes well. I wanna show you three examples of Switch It, this core activity, it does so much. We're gonna show you an example of Jennifer, who's here tonight, doing her, her version of it called Human Switch It, when you wanna get the kids moving, and maybe you need to do something whole group. Uh, we're also going to show a small group setting of first graders, struggling first graders, and then I'm going to show a sixth grader um, who begins with real words and then after, because it's the first lesson, we realize, hey, she's doing pretty well. She needs to move on to nonsense words. So if you stick around, you'll see some examples of how all three levels of readers can use the same activity, but we just change the difficulty. That's one little thing I got going for you tonight. We have a, an unprecedented offer for anyone you know who, including yourself, if you would like to join the Reading Simplified Academy to not just take advantage of the Switch It activity I'm going to show you, but to get the full package and learn the Reading Simplified system that's designed to streamline instruction and accelerate all students' reading achievement. It's professional development and a curriculum all in one with ongoing coaching from us so you're not left high and dry. 
And like I said, we're gonna be doing um, a very significant discounted offer. So stick around to hear about that. It's just, just available for, for you to consider for like summer PD, a summer PD special. You're looking ahead, definitely need a break. And then we want you to, I bet you want to, think about what's gonna be different next year. What, how can you improve? We believe that Reading Simplified is the most powerful opportunity for anyone who teaches reading to transform their, their students' experience and their own experience. So, Christina is definitely a fan of Switch It. Helps them focus on phoneme sounds. So true. And Mim says, yes, it's great. And so does Jennifer. So, let's get into it. We're gonna talk about Switch It again, as I said. And what's so powerful about this is it unlocks the code for kids who, when they're doing phonics, it's just not really sticking. They're not lining things up. Do you have a reader like that at the end of the year? Maybe they are coming to a word like flat and they just say fat, or they don't know that it's an ah, and they do all sorts of kind of quirky things with um, cracking on the code for unfamiliar words. Switch it is the miracle activity that helps them unlock how sounds and symbols connect. So that's one of the promises of this activity. The other thing that makes it so cool, I talk about this a lot, is it is so much more efficient than what's mainstream. It's mainstream to give your students 10 to 15 minutes of oral only phonemic awareness, maybe even phonological awareness, and then separately five to 10 to 15 minutes of letter sound instruction and much later you get to handwriting and decoding and spelling and maybe vocabulary, you just keep tacking it all on and it becomes a 45 minute, 60 minute lesson. I wonder if you could just take all of that and replace it with one activity that's five minutes or maybe seven if you wanna go long. That's what I'm talking about. All these things can be gotten rid of for a powerful activity that integrates all of this. So I'm excited to show you three different examples of Switch It in action. And if you want to use this activity, Greg can pop in the link for snagging a guide. It's a really great guide for Switch It. Let me show you what it looks like. Um, and then we'll show, the, show an example. Well, I don't have my switch it up. We'll, I'll show you the switch it guide in a minute, but it's how to do the activity, letter sounds and word lists. And Anna says switch it is such a rich activity. And Christina, I hope you've already been doing switch it, but it can help, it can help uh, further those kids who drop those ending sounds if they have dyslexia. Yes, totally, Kate. This activity does help with encoding, which is our fancy word in, as reading teachers for spelling. It prepares the way, it paves the groundwork. And then we fold in an activity that we call write it, which is just dictation. And so switch it, paves the way. So let's watch Jennifer Glick, a, um, an excellent teacher. She in fact just got teacher of the year for her new school. I think she's in the school for the second time, second year. and she. You can see how much is packed into this activity, but also notice how much fun it is where, as you get these kids doing what she's calling human switch it. Great for um, when you have to teach whole group and you want to get kids moving and engaged. I have bug. I want to change it to tug. <laughs> 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 Where do you gotta go, Mia? Right here? Sit, walking, please go sit down. Did you hear she said that in English? I must say, muy bien! She said it in English, I love it. All right, what's this sound? What's this sound? And what's this sound? What's my word? Well, what's my word? Say this sound again, what's this sound? What's this one? And what's this one? So if we put it all together, we have... Tug. Tug, yes. Look at I know, Devante, please come over here and join us. I need you to help us, and I don't want you to trip over my cord. All right, ready? Let's go! 
gone from tug to tag. 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 Who do we need? Ah, uh, there it is. Now, where do we go? Right here? Let's find out. You step over this way. All right, let's see. What do we got? Tag. Uh, Does that say tag? Uh-oh, okay, step up here. You come back here. Turn right here, Seven. Let's, let, let's have a look. So look right here, Seven. We have tag. What we need is tag. Where do you need to go? You need to go there? Let's find out. Move you this way. All right, stay right here, though. Stay right here. Eddie, tell me my sounds. What's this one? And what's this one? Uh, and what's this one? Tag. That sounds like a bag. Does that sound like tag? No. I think Seven's just a little confused, but that's okay because we're helping him, huh? You right here? Okay. Seven, let's watch. We have. Uh, Hold that letter up here. And what we need is tag. Oh, where do you need to go? I think so. Let's see. Put you right here. Everybody say, nice job, Jenna. Nice job, Jenna. Now let's see if Seven got it right. What's this sound? Everybody, what is it? And this one? And this one? And this one? What does that say? Tag. Does that say tag? Yeah. Wow. I have bug. What do you think, you guys? Ellen's all uh, up for it. She's got it. A first grader, she just began tutoring, and the student may be facing retention, so some swift acceleration is just what's needed. And that's what I can almost guarantee you with, if you try Switch It, if you haven't tried it before. So what did you guys notice about what all Miss Glick was teaching her students? These are kindergarten kids, the beginning of the school year. Um, Mim says, I love how she gets the children to make the mistake and shows them what it would be so they can think the process through. So beautiful. That is the power of the teacher uh, helping the students reach higher than what they can do on their own. And as Kate says, that makes it so engaging. And <laughs> Jennifer says, from personal experience, the kids love being the letters. How many of you have done that type of activity where the kids are building words as with the papers or cardstock representing the letters? I love that activity. So, woo, that's a good um, variation on Switch It. This is a Switch It list. It's just a sample of what we often... Uh, what we include for members of inside the Reading Simplified Academy, which, by the way, if you just joined in, we're giving an unprecedented discount to um, soon. So, if you get Switch It, uh, this guide, you can see the big picture, what the different levels are. You can learn a little bit about the purpose. You can get word lists. I've never met a teacher, a reading teacher, who doesn't like to have logical word lists and these kind of guide you to know what's next that's one of the important things about this activity so you keep pushing kids again back to the acceleration that we're promising with the topic you're also going to learn how to do it that's obviously important but we the main thing that that Mim hinted out there with Jennifer's teaching is what do you do when they make a mistake there are about three or four classic mistakes and our prompts guide you to move them up so that they don't get stuck. Have you ever been, you know, working with a student and they say, they, you know, they read the word uh, rug. Sure I understand. Oops, Siri's talking to me. <laughs> and they read the word rug as rad and you don't know how to give them that prompt? Well, here is the, the ticket for how to give prompts when students make errors. And we're going to show you some letter sound cards. So everything you need to get started and test this activity, if you have three days left, if you have five days left, test this activity and see how your kids take to it. Because um, we see very fast 
improvements with this. We do a, an annual challenge where, all, where we even bring in parents from all over the world. In addition to teachers, the parents don't have much experience teaching reading. They do this activity for five days, and even after one or two days, they're already seeing success. Okay. Tips. I appreciate Jennifer and Mim. Is this better? Oh, sorry about that. I tried to do a. Um, I tried to do a. Um, headphones and that did not work. Erica likes the idea of human switch it. Great way to get the kids up and moving while learning their sounds. Love this idea. And Jennifer says, everybody always wants to know where Jennifer gets all her energy. She gets it from her kids at a very large cup of coffee. Okay, great. Thank you for the tips on my sound. Sorry about that. So here you go. Head to this link so you can snag this Switch It guide and test this out. And that will be a very powerful um, thing to, to test in one day, two days, three days, and see if you can get a little boost before you send off your kids. And if you have been trying to do switch it, and you feel like, oh, I'm not really seeing where I wanna go, maybe you wanna move up a level. That's normally um, the most common error when people are learning switch it, is they may be camping out over here in say three sound words or four sound words. Go ahead and try a five sound word if you've been doing switch it. Try a six sound word. Try a six sound nonsense word. We'll get to that soon. So that was a kinder. Let me show you some more. Who would like to see um, a little bit of first grade? This is in a small group context and that's how we often teach switch it. So this is the same activity, different setting. And if you just let's check out switch it with first graders. They're struggling and this is like their second switch it ever. <laughs> Does it make you blink? Okay. Flash. Let's switch it to flesh. Our flesh is like our body. This is my flesh, okay? Flesh. Switch from flash to flesh. So close. Almost everybody's got it. You actually made flish. We want flesh. Oh, good fix. Tell me the sounds. Flesh. Yep, each by himself. And the word is flesh. Okay, you want to cover them up? That's good. Let's cover the next one, okay? You've got flesh. Switch it to fled. I fled away from the danger. Fled. Fled. And cover. Fled. You're so close there. You've got flesh. Switch it to fled. We need the e to make fled. Oh, good switch. Nicely done. Okay, everybody together, tell me the sounds. Oh my gosh, everybody says flesh, but what? look at what word you have. What word is that? Fled, do you know what it means? Um, when someone fled, they ran away. Um, do you think that the um, rabbit fled from the dog when the dog started barking. Can, what else might uh, go away from a dog, yeah? Cat. Okay, the cat would, the, can you say that? The cat fled from the, okay. Anything, anyone else have another animal? Hmm. A cat. Because <laughs> I was looking at that picture. That's funny, and then made you think of it, okay. The rabbit, the cat, the mouse. What about a mouse? Who could put a, make a sentence with a mouse? Okay. The mouse fled from the bear. I s oh, absolutely. Okay. Okay, so when I say fled, I actually mean it just means run away, escape. It's not the same as fly. Keep it down so we don't lose the light. Yesterday I fled away. Today I flee. Oh. Today we will flee the scene. Today we will flee from a burning building. But 
yesterday I fled the burning building. Those are big words. Maybe you haven't heard them that much. We can talk about that on our way out. Okay, switch it from fled to sled. We get to sometimes use a sled, don't we? When do we use a sled? In the snow. In the snow. Okay, tell me the sounds all together. Sled. And the word sled. Okay, last one. Sped. I sped and the policeman gave me a ticket. Sped. You can today you speed. Like if today I'm speeding down the road and then I come and tell you what happened and oh, I was speeding and the officer said I had sped. So it's a different form of the word meaning in the past. It's tricky. Sped. Okay, but not everybody has sped. Cover up your what you got. Let's see if you've got sped. Hmm. Let's check it. What do you have? Wait, let's let him figure it out. He'll get it. He'll get it. Now you have Lissed. <laughs> let's go back. You had you had sled and we want sped. All over it. You got it. Nice to Alright, what are the sounds? Everybody do it together? And the word is? Now you know what we get to do? Gather up all your squares. Did you see the possibilities with that activity? Sometimes it's kind of hard to see when you're watching other children, but if you test this out with anyone who's struggling or still beginning in their reading journey, you will see how much it unlocks and it usually amazes people. The kids think it's a game and the kids grow. They like discover what the code really is designed to do, how to match up sounds and symbols. And I like how Christina pointed out that there was a couple things going on here. So we, we were focusing on phonemic awareness, the ability to segment those sounds, pull them apart. Uh, act, that's segmenting, but we're also doing manipulation change. Um, sad to sud, that's actually a harder level and it really pushes the brain in terms of thinking how sounds and symbols line up. So we did phonemic awareness. Were they also working on learning the letter sounds at the same time? Were they learning left to right tracking? Were they learning how our system works, the alphabetic principle? Were they doing early decoding? Were they doing early encoding? Were they doing vocabulary? All of that was going on, even though it was just a snippet of an activity. We do it for about five minutes, maybe seven when you're first starting. It's just not 15 minutes. You don't have to do the letter sounds separate from real words. You can pack all of that together in an integrated manner. And as Erica says, um, this is awesome. It really is. It's so powerful. Um, the transformation could be almost immediate. And Ellen says, giving time for the child to figure it out. Yeah, that's why a small group setting can be helpful. Although we saw some real power in how Jennifer did it with uh, kindergartners in the whole group using human switch it. Now, if you're just popping in, if you type hashtag aha with something you like or something that uh, is a new idea, you will be entered to win three decodable texts. We're gonna do that at the end of, of showing these videos. We also are giving, we're giving away a, a bundle today. So you can get the Switch It guide with a link that Greg can pop in the chat. I'm also doing another goodie for you guys because I miss doing these Facebook lives. I'm just rolling out the goodies. The second goodie is a uh, two months of lesson plans. Who does not like lesson plans? Thanks for being here, Lisa. So if in a second, I'll give you the link to put all of this together, maybe now, or maybe just to get you thinking about what you might do next year. Um, so we're going to show you um, how you put the whole Reading Simplified system together. And it's includes switch it as you can see right here so maybe if you want you have five more days of school or 15 more days of school maybe you want to do this fast acting fix that i'm ch challenging you on and you want to start here and you want to do a couple days of switch it and then maybe you'll be ready to add a second activity we call it read it 
and you just build your lesson as you learn more and more about the Reading Simplified system. Next week, maybe you're doing Switch It, Read It, and Guided Reading, and you end in four weeks, you've got a full system going, and you've got, you've advanced. So maybe you start out here with the beginning student. These are three sound CVC words with just A and I, but we rapidly move them ahead here on the second week. They're already doing four sound words with including E and A, uh, and by the fourth week, they are maybe doing five sound words. That's not uncommon, especially if you're in a small group setting and they're doing all vowels. So this is another goodie I'm excited to give you. And then we're gonna show an example of a sixth grader because this same activity shakes things up for those kids who are older. Maybe they have some struggles with multi-syllable words. So Greg, if you have that link for how to get fast acting fix, actually I got it right here. You, can, you guys can head to this page and snag this set. Tell your friends about this next week. Um, we're actually gonna go do this on Wednesday because my daughter's eighth grade graduate graduation on Tuesday. Um, and then the following week, we will do it on May 31st. So we're gonna be keep giving these uh, lesson plans out. So I bet you're gonna have colleagues that are gonna be interested. Maybe this is not the time to test something, but they wanna plan ahead. And you also finally, we're, you might wanna know about how we're gonna give the whopping big discount to the Reading Simplified Academy Summer PD Special. So Kelly likes Switch It because she says that all the skills are packed in a quick and engaging way. Same with Amy, quick and effective. Tara has a lot of experience with the lesson plan format and she's used it with multiple ages. She says she loves the format. Exactly, Amy. The differentiation is quite easy. The word lists just change for the, to meet the kids' needs. In fact, I'm gonna show you an example of that. Two back-to-back -back lessons um, within like 10 minutes so, because I kept, I'll find out, hey, this is too easy for her. I'm gonna differentiate by ch increasing the challenge. And yeah, Kate, decoding instruction does not have to be divorced. In fact, it should not be divorced from vocabulary. So you guys are saying some really great things, but I promised I, I was aiming for 30 minutes, so I'm behind what's new. So I'm gonna keep moving, but keep your hashtags rolling so that you can be entered into the contest for the three decodable books. Let's check out Switch It with a sixth grade struggling reader. This is her first time trying the activity. And then I'm going to show you how I moved her up right afterwards because it was a little too easy for her. So switch, switch it. Sixth grade, first lesson. I'll pick you up. Okay, that's working. Let's try this. Let's not notice ourselves. Now oh, is that too right? Yeah. How about that? Looks good. I see some printed words. Okay, and yeah. So words. we're going to play a game called Switch It. Okay. So first you have to build a word to okay. be able to play Switch It. So can you build the word glad and then as you pull sounds down, say each one individually. Good. 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 And you know, we'll just put, these are all going to represent one sound. Okay. Yeah, see the lines? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Glad. Now we're going to change it to gland. A gland is an organ that produces hormones or enzymes. Yep. You know them. So yep. you have to add a sound. Nice. Mm. Good. Now tell me each sound separately. D. L. A. D. Perfect. And now you make me switch it to make land. This land is your land. This land is my land. This land is your land. Exactly. This land is my land. <laughs> Sand, please. Have you ever seen the sand? I've seen sand as a skeleton. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's an Undertale character. Okay. How about stand? Move over. Mm -hmm. Check what you got. Uh -huh. Nice stands. fix. Let's check it. Stand. And the word is? Stand. Okay, we got a tricky one here. We're going to make actually... Only one of these is going to switch, but it's going to kind of change two sounds because we're going to change from stand to stank. That dead mouse stank. 
Perfect. Tell me the sound. S -s -t -a -i -k. Good. So this kind of has a mm, sound. Do you hear that? Mm. Mm, stank. Stank. <laughs> Good. Stanky. Okay. Can you switch it to stink? If you leave that out, it will stink. Tell me the sounds. Stink. Very good. Now sting. We're going to have to make two switches to make sting. What do you mean two switches? It's just sting. Yeah, that would work. You're totally right. Except it's one sound. So we're going to replace it with this. Because it's uh, one sound. Okay. Tell me the sounds. St st Mm. Good. Now, how about string? I use the string to make a necklace. Good. And now, how about spring? Spring seems like a long way away, right? And I'm happy about it. My allergies will come. Oh, okay. Um, bees will not cheese. Okay, so you got to see in a little snippet of that sixth grader and she was doing switch up for the first time. She was moving sounds in and out, even at the five sound word. Well, how many sounds are in springs? Five sound. I'm saying it's too easy because she almost never needed my help. There was a little cut, you know, issue about whether NG would be on one card, but that's like playing the game. That's not a, a decoding issue. So she's not making mistakes. And guess what? Here with Switch It, we want the mistakes because it's in the mistake where we give them a little scaffold, a little boost, that they reach up harder than, higher than what they could do on their own and they learn something. So don't be afraid of the mistakes. The Switch It guide, which we shared earlier, gives you the, the cues to help them and get through that situation. And Jennifer says it's really nice to see this activity with an older student. So I did a couple more words with her and then I said, hey, this is too easy. Let's try something different. So I moved up to nonsense words. And there's two changes we made. Not only did we go to nonsense words, but we also moved to just writing it. And that's also a little easier for her level. So this is how you keep progressing and challenging kids. And they can be a variety of ages. But this was really helpful for her beginning her journey to become a better decoder and speller just her first lesson. So here's um, Switch It, sixth grader, nonsense words. Okay, so I'm gonna write a nonsense word and we're gonna do Switch It just like we did, except it's all gonna be on dry erase. Okay. So let's start with, um, what's, what am I building so far? Spl Put it all together? Splist. Very nice. Splist. Okay, Splist. Can you change? Uh, here's an eraser. Can you change spliss? Sorry about that. Well, let's Sorry. ignore that. Spliss to splast. Nope, just actually erase one word or one letter sound, rather. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. It's not the best eraser, huh? Can I just use that? Wait, I mean, hold on. Yeah, I'm just going to use this. Okay. Wait, what was the word? Splast. 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 Nice. Now make it splant. Mm -hmm. I'll make it, I'm going to make you make two switches. Okay. Sprand. Nice. Sprand. Can you say the sound out loud when you write it? Sprund. And just that sound by itself is? Und. Just by itself? Rund. The sound. Un. Un. Y you. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Very good. Uh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's switch sprund to um, splun. 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 Do you have splun? Spoo. There. Get in there, Al. Okay. Splun. And make sure you say the sound as you write it. I said spoo. Oh, good. Ooh. Let's change it to two switches. Uh, sklin. Skl. Skl. 
So that was a little snippet of Switch It with it at the nonsense level. Do you guys have questions about how you might throw out this activity? We're aiming to get those of you who are at the end of the school year to find a quick win, some sort of fast acting fix. This will unlock a lot for your kids for their decoding and their encoding. And hopefully if you were here, you can see multiple levels, kindergarten, first grade, sixth grade, and hopefully that fits what your situation. I want to announce a very um, cool offer that I'm excited for you to consider. Switch It is just the beginning of the full Reading Simplified system. And we want to invite you to have a great summer PD opportunity. So we're doing this special, summer PD special, where you can get access to the Reading Simplified Academy for just $9.97 for 14 days. So it's a trial to test us out and see if we're talking, what we're talking about is um, really as bold as our claims. So the Reading Simplified Academy is going to definitely show you switch it, show you examples like this. It's going to show you the full lesson plan this is the inside of the Reading Simplified Academy. Most of you would start over here in this main course and go through lessons kind of like you're seeing today. Learn about Switch It, learn about Read It, which we're going to talk about next week, learn about Sort It, which we'll talk about in two weeks, and get lots of resources, word lists, decodable texts, and that is just the main course to learn the gist of our simplified system. We also have, where do we have it? We have a software to play Switch It Online, which is so much fun. Change bat to bit and, and bit and back to bat and back to bath. When kids are done, Click the award up here in the upper right and they will get a little um, virtual reward. We also have a teacher's lounge. This is why I was saying you're not on your own. You can um, get help from us regularly every, in an online discussion board every day. You can comment and have our teaching assistants from all over the world who are reading simplified experts give you support so if you want to try something new this is not um and you and you want to figure out how it fits your situation this is not the kind of pd where you're just on your own we're there to support you so those are some of the features i'm not going into all of them you can learn more about them at um our website but that's just a little bit of a little peek inside the reading simplified academy um because we want you to take us up on this offer. 14 days for only $9.97. And then it will, if you stick around, if you, if you like the trial and um, it works for you, then it's just $29 a month, but you can cancel at any time. We're thinking, you know, if you're at the end of the school year, you want to take a break and then you also want to make some plans for next year so that some of those struggling readers aren't on your, you know, they're not going to be struggling next year because you're looking for something that's science or reading based, but it's also efficient and effective. So I'm honored to give you guys this opportunity to try something really, um, really effective at a profound discount. And as Anna says, she's been doing this for four years at least, and it, she says it's by far the most helpful learning to read course I've ever done. And she's done a lot of really great professional development. And um, interesting, yep. The re you have a student whose reading is significantly more advanced than a typical writing level. So switch it and particularly write it will help this learner maybe sort it too, which we'll talk about in two weeks. Mim is a Reading Simplified tutor and she gets her students to write the, board, the word on a whiteboard then hold it up to the camera because she's doing virtual. That's clever, you know, and then uh, <laughs> something like that. And then they change it. Um, that works remotely too, as she says. I love it. Yeah, 
So that, that dry erase board is another option, especially after they've already done the letter sound cards. So let me show you the link to jump into the Reading Simplified Academy. If you are already a member, maybe this is time for you to share this with a, a colleague um, so that they can get this awesome discount and test this out for 14 days. And then if, if it doesn't work, of course, then you may, um, you may cancel at any time. It's, so it's $9.97, $9.97. You spend, we spend a lot more than that at Teachers Pay Teachers, right? And um, we don't learn an entire system for how to teach anyone to read and get literally um, a thousands of pages of materials for students, including lots of decodable readers. So I'm really excited for you guys to give this a try. I'm gonna pop it in the, ch the chat. Let me know if you're gonna consider it or if you're joining today. Okay, so there is your $9.97 trial. Kelly says she's definitely gonna take a look. Love it, thank you, Kelly. Okay, so we have covered a lot of ground today. We saw the power of one activity that integrates multiple subprocesses simultaneously. You can check the links in this feed to get a free guide with word lists, how to do it, and more importantly, the procedures. You can also snag um, full lesson plans to test out Switch It and then maybe some other things. Some of the things in that lesson plan um, are hyperlinked to learn more about the activities and to get more goodies. And then we also have this um, we've an unprecedented offer where we're giving away basically a 14 day trial for a mere $9.97. So congratulations to Samantha. And I'm excited that Kelly and is gonna check this out. Who else is gonna check out the offer? We wanna see you guys jump in. Know that you're headed towards something this summer that is uh, refreshing and going to change your readers' outcomes for next year. So keep an eye out for our announcement for when we go live next week. And we'll also be emailing this opportunity. So, and if you want, so if you're on our list, you can get it. And share this with a friend so that they can get this opportunity to just try the Reasonable Academy for 14 days. And we're not going to leave this open for very long. So don't, um, if you think you're going to be interested, don't dally. Dilly dally. And Kay, Kelly, congratulations. She's already joined. Thank you for telling us that. that. Awesome. Well, um, come say hi to us in the Teacher's Lounge. That's our online discussion board where we encourage you and also give you tips to how to streamline your growth in the Reading Simplified system. I bet everybody who's a Reading Simplified pro is excited to, um, to uh, welcome you in. Thank you for being here, ladies and gents. Here's to making great readers. I'll be back next Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern.